Bizarre discovery at Oak Island on the bottom of the money pit. For nearly 200 years, treasure seekers have been lured by the prospect of buried riches, booby traps, and intriguing secrets surrounding this fabled place. And in today's video, we learn about the intriguing history, the never-ending search for treasure, and the perplexing hurdles that have foiled even the most dedicated explorers. Will Captain Kidd's buried riches ever be discovered, or is it all a myth? So get ready to discover the clues, examine the evidence, and explore the mysterious depths of Oak Island's money pit with us. A lot of people wonder if the Oak Island money pit was made by humans. Geology suggests that the money pit was probably not a secret wealth vault made by people. The sea and water table can break down the bedrock on the island, so a network of cracks and caves form underground, which can fall and make natural sinkholes. Still, the island's charm has brought wealth hunters there. People have thought and talked about how the pit got there because of the stories. Fans of the history show The Curse of Oak Island have been able to watch Michigan brothers Rick and Marty Legina try to solve one of the most interesting riddles in the Western Hemisphere since 2014. They have been trying to dig up a treasure that is thought to have been buried on this tiny island off the coast of Nova Scotia more than 200 years ago. The treasure is said to be anything from pirate booty to the Holy Grail to the Ark of the Covenant. The brothers dig in many places on Oak Island, but they pay the most attention to the one called the Money Pit. Over the years, it has given up intriguing relics, a strange stone with writing on it, and many problems. So what is the Money Pit exactly? The Money Pit is or was a hole that was more than 100 feet deep. It's on the east side of Oak Island. Legend says that it was first noticed by a local youth in 1795. He saw a depression in the ground and started digging, only to find a man-made shaft with wooden platforms every 10 feet all the way down to a depth of 90 feet. The problem is that the exact location of the shaft is no longer clear because of a sloppy mission in the 1960s that caused clay, seawater, mud, and other debris to fall into various holes dug around the original money pit. And like many treasures before them, Rick and Marty have been stopped in their tracks by what looks like booby traps, tubes dug into the ground at different levels to fill the shaft with water and stop treasure hunters from going any deeper. According to the Oak Island Encyclopedia, a 500-foot-long tube from nearby Smith's Cove makes sure that the hold fills back up with water as soon as the water is pumped out. So why is everyone making such a big deal about this treasure? Depending on who you ask, the island's treasure could be linked to the notorious 17th-century Scottish pirate Captain Kidd, the English playwright William Shakespeare, or the Knights Templar, a medieval order of holy warriors who amassed a lot of wealth and power and were thought to have hidden the famous Holy Grail. In Season 4, Episode 7, All That Glitters, of the history series The Curse of Oak Island, Rick and Marty talk to author Randall Sullivan, who thinks the wealth came from Captain Kidd's last pirate raid on a Spanish galleon. And in Season 1, Episode 4, The Secret of Solomon's Temple, the brothers met a Freemason called Petter Amundsen. He thinks that secret codes were put into the works of William Shakespeare, but not necessarily by Shakespeare himself and that these codes point to the Knights Templar wealth buried on the island. No matter where the wealth came from, the story of how it got to the island and was hidden there is still a secret. Since then, it's been hard to tell fact from fiction because most of the island's history of treasure hunting is based on gossip and guesswork. It's also possible that treasure hunters spread false information to throw others off the trail. So far, what has been found in the money pit? Many treasure hunters think they drilled more than 100 feet down into the money pit and found a big vault. So far, most of the things that have been found in and around the pit are more interesting than valuable. Some things point to treasures that haven't been found yet, while others point to riddles that haven't been solved yet. What do you make of the coconut strands from the non-indigenous coconuts that the Legina brothers found in Season 1, Episode 2, The Mystery of Smith's Cove? Were they used in some way to set up traps in the pit? Most of the brothers' finds have been in other parts of the island, but Smith's Cove is where they found a lead cross with a loop at one end that they think was used by the Knights Templar. It was in the 10th episode of Season 5, The Signs of a Cross. Before the Leginas, people looking for wealth in the pit had found interesting things like old china, a strange piece of parchment paper, and traces of gold on the ends of drill bits. They have also found stones, pieces of wood, and piles of coconut fiber that could have been used to make the hole more dangerous. In the same way, there are signs that older treasure hunters tried to stop the flow of water. 
Some coins found in the hold date back to the 16th century. Some gold links in a stone with unreadable writing have also been found. And what about the mysterious 90-foot stone? A letter written by treasure hunter Jotham B. McCulley in the middle of the 19th century said that a stone was found in the hole in 1804 at a depth of about 90 feet. The stone is about 2 to 3 feet long and 12 to 16 inches wide. It looks like dark Swedish granite with an olive tint. It doesn't look like any local rock. The stone has strange symbols on it, and people have spent a lot of time trying to figure out what they mean. One version says that the marks on the stone were meant to look like English letters. One possible reading of the phrase is 2 million pounds are buried 40 feet below the surface. But some experts think it was meant to be French, and they think the images have something to do with a Knights Templar. According to the website Oak Island Mystery, the stone has not been seen since the early 1900s. The Oak Island Society says that the Legina brothers and a group of other people own 78% of Oak Island, which includes the Money Pit. The few people who live on the island own the other 22%. They live there in cabins during the summer months. There are also two long-term homes on the island. Still, there remains the question if the treasure on Oak Island has been found yet. We may never know if there is wealth buried on Oak Island, either at the Money Pit or somewhere else in this small area of Nova Scotia or somewhere else in this small area of Nova Scotia. But it is still one of the most interesting stories about a legendary treasure to have spread in the modern age. We might find it hard to believe that the site was a pirate hideout in the 17th or 18th centuries and that stolen goods were buried there. We might also find it hard to believe that the site was a secret hiding place for the jewels of a notorious French queen or that it was the key to providing that Francis Bacon was the real author of Hamlet and Macbeth. All of this is made worse by the fact that McGinnis and his friends started digging at the site in 1795, and it was a strange place. Here we have a strange glacial formation that is always flooded with water. Over time, strange artifacts like a stone with strange symbols and video footage of what looks like a chest and a skeleton at the bottom of the muddy pit have been found there. Considering all of this, it's not surprising that Oak Island has gotten so much attention over the years. The search for the wealth of Oak Island continues to fascinate the minds of both treasure hunters and history buffs. Even though no one is sure if the elusive treasure really exists or not, the money pit and its fascinating secrets still draw people in. If you're also interested in stories about lost riches and old artifacts, don't miss the chance to learn more about the secrets of Oak Island. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss an update of our exploration videos.